So the grid for round five, Lando, the British mini bikes for Mini GP. On pole position is Bailey Campbell in second, alongside him, Evan Belford. Chloe Jones is third on the grid with Ben Watson alongside her. And then it's Harris Beach and Lewis Jones making up row three. And then Ryan Frost and Sam Laidlow on row four, seventh and eighth. Maximius Hardy is ninth and Corey Tinker tenth as they start to make their way out onto the track. Casey O'Gorman is in 11th and Fred McMillan 12th. Rossi Brown and Ollie Walker are on row 7. And then it's Taylor Rose and Harvey Lathrop on row 8. And 17th is Christopher Johnson and Harry Cook, who we spoke to earlier, is in 18th. He was very confident about his chances in the wet, but in the dry it seems that he's maybe not quite as happy. So he'll be hoping for a shower, although it doesn't look like we will get one. I'm surprised to see Casey. I, I, I mean, give me. I, I thought it would be Casey up the front, so yeah. I'm, I'm surprised to see Casey in the mid pack. Maybe, maybe just uh, backed up a little bit in, uh, in the qualifying. Quite possibly. I don't think we picked up on that because we didn't have uh, all the times available with us. But they're just making their way now, so a couple of them on the back straight. And they've really race round to get onto the grid, and everyone else much slower as they make their way round the late corners of the Dell as they come back onto the back straight. This is the hunger straight that we're on. And then they go into the right hand hairpin and onto the grid. Interesting to see just as they were forming up the grid, the car on pole position, which I think is Bailey Campbell, had a little bit of a wobble. But we're all now just making sure we're in the right slots, all the marshals and parents making sure that we're in the right position. And then we should be out about to get underway. So the green flag is up. And away we go, and it's all very close to the first corner. And they make their way round right now, so this is the hook that we're into. And they go around the corner, this is where Edward Belfort managed to get up ahead of Bailey Campbell into the lead. And they make their way round towards the back. So out in front, the two in front are Evan Belfort and Bailey Campbell. That's Chloe Jones in the third at the moment with Ben Watson. Harris Beach in the fifth. As they make their way round the back of the tracks, so now coming into the Dell and on towards the back straight. And as they go down, coming up towards the end of the first lap. And it, it looks, looks like it looks like Case is already starting to pick his way through the field. Casey O'Gorman, who started down in tenth is up to third ahead of Chloe Jones in fourth as they make their way across the line. So a very good start for Brandon Belford to make his way ahead of past Bailey Campbell. As they make their way around the back section of the track. So this is the camera we were talking about where we've got a cherry picker. So we've got a nice high angle there. It's very close between the two tracks. Casey O'Gorman already making his way up to second, I think. But not quite getting past Brady Campbell. Casey O'Gorman, who started quite poorly, is now on the back straight and has already got past a much more powerful bike to get past it into first. It's exceptional speed. Literally just drove straight past him down that straight there. There's, uh, that little Metskit 50 definitely got some gap and go. So Casey O'Gorman leads from Evan Belford, followed by Bailey Campbell. And then Chloe Jones is in fourth place, ahead of Harris Beach in fifth. That's a cracking shot in the right that top section. <laughs> so some of the riders, Matt, are wearing high-vis vests. Tell us a bit more about those. Yeah, they're novices. Uh, they'll be their first season this year. Uh, we've got to be encouraged out either new to the sport or, especially this being a junior class, 
Um, we encourage them to wear high visors to make sure the the quicker the quicker kids can see him um, and and give him a bit of a wide berth because you don't want them, you know, people like Casey or Chloe coming past him uh, too quickly and clipping them. So yeah, we encourage them to wear high visors. So Casey O'Gorman starting to build quite a lead, but it's very close between Evan Belford and Maple. Those are the two on screen now. Further down the field. The Oboes, Brian Frost, who's in seventh, is the lead rider in the Oboes. That's the uh, that's the OFL GP Zero that uh, Harry Cook races. The little uh, the little one ten CC. Obviously, you've got the metrics are out in front at the moment, so they've also got a definite power and weight advantage over the uh, I mean, the GP one forties. Obviously, the bikes you know, the riders are fantastic. Well, don't take anything away from Casey or anything away from the riders. They are extremely talented young children. Um, but they've got a bit of a power and weight to manage. But then you've got the mini GP140s and the Ovales, and you see the, uh, the very small ones there, the 110cc. And also we've got Harvey Lathrop at the moment. Harvey is running on the grid. He's actually running in 13th at the moment. He's on a mini GP110. So it's a smaller mini GP chassis with a 110cc semi automatic engine. So this is uh, Harvey's first season on that bike, and it's, he's doing really well. He's doing really, really well. Evan Belford making his way past the backmarker and Bailey Campbell behind. Not looking like they're having too many problems. Chloe Jones in fourth. Is that a bit of a surprise to you, Matt? Yeah, I, I thought that Chloe could have got um, tagged on the back of the Metro kits, but um, well, I did wrong. She was actually she's riding meals off it and she's obviously um, she's lapping a good second quicker than Harris Beach, who's second in class. Um, at the moment, so he's, she's definitely clicking on, but um, it just shows that the Metrokits do have a bit of a power weight advantage, obviously do. Because it's the top three of the Metro Pit riders, and Walker, who's in 13th, is also riding one of those. There's a very big gap out in front of Casey O'Connor, and then these two, Belford and Campbell. He's a talented young man, definitely. It looks as though Campbell's having a look up the inside, but not quite close enough. But it's sticking right on the turn enough for Belford. There they go, making their way back to the onto the back straight now. And Belford going quite far to the inside. Is that defending or is that just for racing yeah, line? I think he's defending. No, so there are, yeah, he's definitely looking back, he's keeping an eye on him. Uh, let's check the back. That race was over before it even really started. It's Casey O'Gorman won from Evan Belford and Bailey Campbell third uh, in, the one four, in the Mini GP 1-4. Chloe Jones wins from Harris Beach and then Lewis Jones in third in that class. And the uh, guys in the back who were lapped are now also crossing the line to maybe take the chip of the flag. So Brian Frost finished in seventh place, but he's winner of the Ovale class. So Harry, tell us which category are you riding in? Um, we are, I think I'm riding in the G Mini GPs. Mini GPs? Yeah. And how long have you been riding with the GPs? Um, for around about a season now. Really? Half a season. Yeah. Four races. What have you been doing the four races so far this season? How have you found it? Are you enjoying oh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have, have you been learning much about the way you ride? Have you improved your riding from it? Yeah, my riding style's adjusted quite a lot. Yeah. And are there any areas where you look at the others, if they're riding in front of you and you think, oh, he's taking that line, I should be trying that line as well? Yeah, quite, yeah. 
So, how, how's it been going for you today? Did you enjoy it racing, riding in the wet? Have you found that tricky at all? No, not really. He's not bothered, is he? He's really cool, he's isn't really he? Sure. He's like, yeah, yeah! No one's getting in Harry's way. What, what do you think, Mum? He's, like, he's really cool, isn't he? He likes the wet. <laughs> he likes the wet. Well, you, so, you're on, you're on a Mini GP. You run the Mini, G, Mini GP class, but you, you're on... We've got the different types of uh, Mini GP bikes. So, what's your bike? Tell us a bit about it. Over 110. Plus. Um, it's got more pull on like the corners, but on the straights it kind of lacks speed. Like, yeah. so you feel it's got a bit, a bit more torque bringing you out the corner when, when you go down the straights. The, the, one, the one forties just seem to like catch you a little bit. Yeah, um, like the ten inch wheels, they've got more. I don't know how you say it, but going around the corner, they've got more pull around the corner. Whereas the Min GP, they've got like. Well, I, th I think it's like around about 12 inch wheels, isn't it? Yeah, um, they're more smooth, like, can't get round the corner as much. You feel you can change direction a bit quicker, and you can, because with the 10 inch wheels, you feel like you can get on the gas a bit quicker, and it just accelerates a little bit quicker, because we're on the 12 inch wheels. Because you've ridden the Mini GP as well, the big one, haven't you, as well? And you feel that's a little bit more lazy. You didn't like it? No. Now, what, 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 what do you like about it? It was small. Because it was bigger, and I'm like quite a like, small lad, um, it's more to stretch. Whereas on the Min GP, GPO overall, it's more to just flick it round a bit. They, they are a trick bit of kit, aren't they? They really got the, these things. Like, it ca ca they're more stronger as well, like Italian made. And yeah, they're a proper Italian bit of kit. They got uh, is it KTEC suspension and arrow exhaust? Yeah, race. I think it's Arrow Race System. Yeah. So you've ridden the Mini GP 140s, Mini GP t uh, the, the Ovel 110. So where are you, Mom? Where's he um, finishing at the moment in uh, the class? Do you want to come and have a chat? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Mom. Get in the middle. He's uh, about mid at the minute, um, which isn't too bad because there's only three Ovels, which are 110. So he's competing against a lot more powerful bikes out there. And this is uh, like his fourth actual race in this class because he did Bambino's last season which was totally different pit bike yeah, going on to this yeah. this sort of style so he's doing all right yeah he's a bit upset it's not wet out there anymore he was a bit excited this morning because <laughs> he seems to I don't know if it's his weight and he's quite confident on this bike he, he um, feels more in control of it that he can manage to keep going a bit faster in the wet compared to some of the other boys yeah. you, you, you're a little bit closer to the ground, aren't you? Because obviously the OVLs are the, the proper trip. I mean, they're all a trip bit of kit, aren't they? But they are, there are a lot lower to the ground with the tennis wheels and, and that kind of stuff. So you, you, yeah, it's a bit more, you say, a bit more stiff. Yeah. So, Mum, where, where do you think is it? I mean, Dad's not here and I'm sure he's like, yeah, my GP, but you know, we've got <laughs> personally head screwed on probably the boss. But um, where do you think he's going to go in the future? I don't know. Um, with Harry, we're just, happy if he's enjoying it so while he's enjoying it we will back him 100% if it takes him into a career in the future when he gets older then you know we're we're supporting but if it you know if he doesn't I think he'll end up doing something with motorbikes whether it's engineering with motorbikes but I mean hopefully he does well but you don't know it's early days have you made many mates in the British media bikes you got some lots of friends yeah I've got I've got Ryan Frost um, I've got Brian Frost, uh, Fred. Uh, well, quite a gang of you, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I've got like a squad of them. I've got Chloe Jones. I've got. Uh, I like um, Chloe Jones' sister. Yeah. Do you get annoyed at me telling you to get off the track all the time? Well, I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Right, well, thank you very much for coming. Um, I know you guys have been in the, for the season, but thank you very much for coming to spend time with the British Midway. So thanks a lot for coming, giving your time and some, giving an interview today. But yeah, fantastic. Good luck today, mate. Well, thank you very much, Mum. So the green flag goes up. And the way they're going, it looks like a good start from the two of the front, and they're very close. And there's a rider left on the line. That's Harvey Lathrop on there, Mini GP 110. All the others making their way through the first few corners. Quite well. Oh, 
Oh, and close down. Chloe Jones has gone off from her bike and struggling to get it back up. Parents are running over. That's uh, Bailey Harker's dad running over to give her a hand. So out in front, I think it's Bailey Campbell leading from Evan Belford. And third position, it seems like Casey O'Gorman's made quite he, a lot. He is there. so quick, isn't he? He is seriously <laughs> quick. Oh, we've got a message for Casey coming through from Ella O'Gorman, full gas. It's I, 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 I don't think Casey knows a different type of gas. It's definitely full gas or nothing. That was a brilliant move though, around the first corner to get past the baby Campbell. So Evan Belford leads and Casey O'Gorman. But it doesn't look like it'll be that way for long. But looking back into the Mini GP 140s, at the moment we have a Lewis Jones uh, who's actually winning the class at the moment ahead of Highest Beach and Ben Watson. Beach, number 83, in the white overalls and on the white bike. They made their way around the first few corners. Elsewhere on that line, Ryan Frost got past Sam Lalo. Taylor Rose made a place up on Fred McMullen. For I think second place between Evan Belford and Bailey Campbell. That's in the Metro Kit 50s. And this is a battle for third place. We have Dylan Jones and Harris Beach on the uh, Mini GP 140. So Dylan's actually winning the race to such the mountain uh, and uh, the uh, for the points. So they're in fourth and fifth place on track. On track. But in their class, very close as well between them. So that's the front three riders: Casey O'Gorman, Evan Belford, and Bailey Campbell. So that's bike number 15. Being that's a back marker ahead of second and third place. That's Chloe Jones, and she lets them past. Well, she lets Evan Belford pass, but not Bailey Campbell. And the bikes behind them, the battle that we want to look at here is the battle for what on screen is fourth place, where Lewis Jones and Harris Beach are in first and second in the actual race. And Brian Frost leading the Ovals, he's now up into sixth position ahead of Ben Watson. Chloe Jones, the laps rider, after she came off her bike on the first lap. And off camera, I can see one of the Mexicans has uh, possibly given up the ghost. That looks to me like it may be uh, Evan Belfield. Um, his bike seems to have pulled up. So there we go, on screen. Oh, oh that was uh, Corey Tinker. Corey Tinker, who was in 10th position and not looking too happy. He gives his bike a little kick and just walks away. I think there may have been contact with another rider, judging on his reaction. So Harris Beach has now moved up into third place. Lewis Jones is also Bailey Campbell is out of the race by the looks of things, or has dropped down to eighth position at the moment. So. Harris Beach is ahead of Lewis Jones in the race for points in the Mini GP on tens. So that's Casey O'Gorman who leads. And now on screen is the battle for third place, but the lead for points. So it's Harris Beach ahead of Lewis Jones. 
And they make their way down the back straight. So the running order at the moment is Casey O'Gorman first ahead of Evan Belford. They're both in the Metro kit, 50s. Then Harris Beach is in third, so leading the class, followed by Lewis Jones, and then Brian Frost in the Ovales group. Ben Watson is in sixth position in the Mini GP 140s, followed by Sam Lalo, Maximius Hardy, Taylor Rose, and then Rossi Brown rounded up the top ten. Rossi Brown also in the Ovales, and Harry Cook, who's in 16th place, is also in the Ovales. So we're now on the final rate, final lap race. There's Harris Beach in bike number 76. That's Lewis Jones defending. Oh, guessing past the laps right, rather. So it looks like Harris Beach has got a bit of a gap. And that's the race leader, Casey O'Gorman, on the final. Looked like Harris, uh, so Dylan got held up just a little bit uh, by one of the back markers there, which allowed Harris to get away. And Harris seems to got his way through the back markers a bit, bit quicker. Dylan's coming on the back of Harvey Lathrop at the moment. Lewis Jones rather than Dylan Jones. Yeah. So oh, there we go, Dylan Casey Jones. O'Gorman around the last corner. Takes it quite wide, but comes up to take the chequered flag and wins. Casey O'Gorman a long way ahead of the rest of the field. And Ollie Walker in 11th, everyone down to 11th place was left. Ollie Walker also in the metric kit 50s. Evan Belford comes across the line to take second place. And Harris Beach wins the class. So though he's in third position, he wins for the mini bikes, the mini GPs, ahead of Lewis Jones. And then Ryan Frost takes the lead for the Ovale class. And then Ben Watson, Sam Laidlow also across the line. And now Maximus Hardy comes across. Coming up towards the line, rather. But there on screen, your race winner, Casey O'Gorman. A long way ahead of the rest of the field. 16.6 seconds for Gaff. And that's just complete domination. Yeah. Yeah, he's... he's uh, I think Casey's definitely a, a name to look for in the future. Well, he already is making a bit of a name himself in the, in the, the British side of things of uh, mini bike racing and so he's he's great you know he's great to have him with us